Good morning, everybody. Eric from Agape Mycology, and today we're going to talk about bioavailability and the difference between powder extracts versus liquid extracts. So I took this morning, used our wonderful chat GPT 3.5 and asked some questions. So one, what is bioavailability? Bioavailability is the proportion of a drug or substance which enters the circulation when introduced into the body and so is able to have an active effect. So question number one, are powders less bioavailable than liquid extracts? The bioavailability of a substance, of course it's gonna shut off. The bioavailability of a substance refers to the proportion of the substance that enters the circulation when introduced into the body and is made available for use or storage. Whether a substance is in powder or liquid form can impact its bioavailability, how fast and how efficiently it enters your bloodstream. But it's important to understand that bioavailability is influenced by multiple factors beyond just the physical form including solubility, absorption, metabolism, and more. So, what is solubility and dissolution? Powders may need to dissolve in liquids in the digestive system before they can be absorbed. Some powders might dissolve more slowly or less completely than liquids, potentially affecting their bioavailability. Absorption. Liquids are typically absorbed faster in the digestive system compared to powders as they don't need to be broken down or dissolved. The faster absorption can potentially result in quicker and more complete uptake of the substance affecting bioavailability. Digestive processes. Digestive processes can influence how efficiently the body can extract nutrients or other substances from powders or liquids. The digestive enzymes and processes involved in breaking down powders may differ from those for liquids, affecting the rate and extent of absorption. Let's see, formulation and preparation. <clears throat> the formulation of the powder or liquid, including any additives, excipients, or carriers can affect bioavailability. Some formulations may enhance or inhibit absorption. Stability and shelf life. The stability of the substance in either powder or liquid form can affect its bioavailability. Some substances may degrade or change over time, impacting their effectiveness upon consumption. So this particularly is something that affects me possibly more than powders, if I'm being honest here. Because I have a alcohol-based liquid extract, think about when you buy vanilla extract from the store. It typically has a one-year shelf life. The same with our products, about a one-year shelf life. However, considering I sell about a 30 to 45 day supply, hopefully it never lasts that year. So let's go on to individual variation. Bioavailability can vary from person to person based on factors such as genetics, health status, age, diet, and individual differences in how the body processes substances. So I asked it another question. How fast does alcohol enter the bloodstream? Since our products are alcohol based, this should give us some good information. <clears throat> alcohol can enter the bloodstream quite rapidly after ingestion. When you consume alcoholic beverages, the alcohol is absorbed primarily through the stomach and the small intestine into the bloodstream. The rate at which alcohol enters the bloodstream can vary based on several factors. Rate of consumption, how fast you drink it, alcohol content, I'll read this one, the concentration or alcohol content in the beverage matters, beverages with higher alcohol content such as spirits like vodkas, and mine is in that level, we proof between 30 and 32% alcohol, so it would be considered spirit level, get it, spirit level? are absorbed more rapidly than those with lower alcohol content like beer or wine. We know drinking any alcoholic beverages on an empty or full stomach matters. We get that metabolism intolerance, 
That varies to the individual, your weight, your height, how much you eat, do you work out, do you sit on the couch, all those type of things. Alcohol is water soluble, so it can be absorbed directly into the bloodstream from the stomach and small intestine. Once in the bloodstream, it is carried throughout the body, including to the brain and other organs where it exerts its effects. So, we have that. Next question. As far as mushroom extracts in particular, is there a difference in absorption between powder and liquid alcohol-based mushroom extracts? Let's see what it says. The absorption of mushroom compounds from alcohol-based extracts can differ between powder and liquid forms. The bioavailability and absorption of active compounds from mushroom extracts depends on various factors, including the type of mushroom, extraction method, form of the extract, powder or liquid, and how it is consumed. Solubility and absorption rate. Again, liquid extracts are already in a dissolved state potentially allowing for faster absorption compared to powders, which need to be dissolved in the digestive system, not to mention dissolved in hot water, and sometimes, some of them, you actually need a little blender just to make your coffee. Like, is the coffee and tea process not enough? Now you need a special tool just to take your mushroom powders? No, no. Anyways, digestive process. Powders may require more time to dissolve in the digestive system, potentially delaying absorption compared to liquid extracts, which are already in a dissolved form. The digestive enzymes and processes involved in breaking down powders may affect the rate and extent of absorption. Formulation and concentration. The formulation and concentration of active compounds can vary between powder and liquid extracts impacting their absorption rates and overall bioavailability. Stability and shelf life, I kind of touched on this. I'm not 100% sure on the shelf life of mushrooms. I know that I've had powdered mushrooms sit and then clump up and turn into a rock. Um, I know that there is a half-life and a shelf life on liquids. Again, I'd say about a year. Don't let it sit past a year. Uh, dosage and administration. The dosage and method of administration can also influence the absorption of active compounds. Proper dosing and following recommended guidelines are crucial for optimizing absorption. So, dosage and method of administration. Let's see, what was my next question? This sounds logical. Is there a loss of active compounds during the absorption process with powder extracts? Meaning, the lion's mane, the reishi, the cordyceps, the mud water, all those things out there with all of these mushrooms in it, by taking it in a powder form, do you lose some of the medicinal content that is listed on the label? Yes. Oh, who to thunk that? Yes, there can be a loss of active compounds during the absorption process with powder extracts, and this loss can occur due to several factors. Dissolution and solubility. We've heard this before. Powdered extracts may need to dissolve in the, di in the digestive tract before the active compounds can be absorbed. The solubility of the compounds in the digestive fluids can influence the rate and extent of dissolution, potentially affecting absorption efficiency, meaning it's not as efficient as a liquid alcohol-based extract. Digestive processes. The digestive processes in the stomach and intestines can affect the breakdown and absorption of compounds from powder extracts. Some compounds may not fully dissolve or may be broken down and metabolized before they are absorbed. Think of your multivitamins. I think a lot of us know that taking your average multivitamin is useless. It does not absorb into your bloodstream before you excrete it through your pee or poo. That's just the way it is. And that right there is the single reason I decided to go liquid extracts from day one and not the powder grout. Particle size and surface area. The particle size of the powder can impact its dissolution and absorption. 
Smaller particle sizes may dissolve more readily and have larger surface area for absorption, potentially enhancing bioavailability. Sounds about right. Stability and degradation. Active compounds and powder extracts may be susceptible to degradation or transformation during gi uh, digestion? digestion, reducing their effectiveness or bioavailability. Metabolism. Compounds absorbed from powder extracts are subject to metabolism by enzymes in the digestive tract and liver, potentially altering their chemical structure and reducing their bioavailability. Formulation and delivery method. The formulation of the powder extract, including any encapsulation or coating, can influence its dissolution and absorption. Some formulations may enhance or inhibit this absorption. And down here, liquid extracts, on the other hand, are already in a dissolved state and can be absorbed more rapidly since they do not require the dissolution step.